Hello, hello, writers. I'm Kristen Kiefer, author of fantasy fiction and creative writing resources, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast, where I share insights, encouragement, and actionable advice designed to help you craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, always in 30 minutes or less, so you can get back to writing, of course. Ready for the show? Let's get talking. Hello, writers, and welcome or welcome back to the Well Storied Podcast. I'm your host, Kristen Kiefer, and today is July 4th, 2018. Today's episode is titled How to Create a Magic System in Six Simple Steps. And if you would like to read along as you listen in, then simply head on over to well-storied.com slash magic. Now let's dive in. Magic though commonplace, isn't an essential element in fantasy fiction. However, a few fantastical powers can go a long way toward livening up many fantasy stories. Magic systems can even serve as a vehicle for theme, exploring topics such as power, privilege, oppression, and greed. As fun as fantastical powers can be to write, crafting your magic system with care is key. If you fail to understand the role that magic will play in your story and develop your system accordingly, then you run the risk of undercutting the conflict and tension that keeps readers turning pages. Not sure what I mean? Let's delve further into this topic together. The Many Approaches to Magic There is no right way to build a magic system. Your approach may vary wildly from other fantasy authors, and that's okay. However, understanding how magic can operate in fiction is key to ensuring that your magic system serves your story rather than undermines it. As best-selling author Brandon Sanderson explains, most magic systems can be classified as hard or soft in nature. Hard magic systems feature a strict set of parameters explained within the story to ensure that readers understand what characters' fantastical powers can and cannot do. Sanderson's Mistborn series and Stormlight Archive both contain excellent examples of hard magic systems. Alternatively, soft magic systems remain nebulous. Readers know little, if anything, about the nature origin, or limitations of the character's fantastical powers. A primary example of soft magic would be that which Gandalf practices in The Lord of the Rings. Your story's magic system may fall somewhere between these two extremes, and that's perfectly fine so long as you understand the role that magic serves within your story. As Sanderson explains, magic primarily exists to create conflict in fiction. If your characters will use magic to resolve that conflict, then establishing a clear set of rules for your magic system is necessary to avoid cheapening tension via contrived magical solutions. In other words, readers need to understand how your magic system works to ensure its use feels natural and believable within the context of the story. However, if your magic system serves more to create a fantastical ambiance than to resolve any major conflicts, then explaining how magic works on the page likely isn't necessary. Gandalf didn't use his powers to destroy the One Ring, so readers didn't need to know how his magic worked to find the ending of The Lord of the Rings to be believable. Six Steps to a Fully Developed Magic System Crafting a hard magic system can be a complex endeavor, though soft magic systems also require a bit of care and attention to develop. Here I will outline six general steps you can follow to forge an effective magic system for your story. Use this guide as best fits your approach to magic. Step 1. Define its use. How does a user summon magic, and how does that magic manifest? That is, how would you define the user's magical abilities? What fuels the use of magic? Does the use of power exact a particular cost? 
Step two, identify its users. What are those with magical powers called within your story world? Is magic inherited, gifted, obtained, or learned? Who can use magic? Are there multiple types of magic users? If so, what differentiates them? Step three, outline its limitations. Is magic, or the source that fuels it, a limited resource in your story world? Can one's magical abilities be stolen or suppressed through fantastical or physical means? What effect does the use of magic have on the user? Is there a cap on the user's magical abilities? How could a magic user be defeated? Step four, establish its dangers. Can magic be used incorrectly or immorally? Could it be used to harm others or cause destruction? What dangers does magic pose to the user, whether directly or because the use of magic is scorned or envied by society? Step five, explore its origins. How is magic created? Where does it source its power? Are there different types of magic or did magic diversify over time? What important historical events in your story world were affected by the use or failure to use magic? Step six, consider its culture. Is magic kept secret in your story world? If so, why? Are there magical societies or a hierarchy of magical users? Can a magic user be identified by their clothing, appearance, or some other distinguishing physical factor? Do magic users have their own language, religion, festivals, or other cultural hallmarks? Magic as a vehicle for theme. Many fantasy authors incorporate magic into their stories simply because fantastical abilities are a fun means of escapism. However, as mentioned at the top of this episode, magic can also serve as a vehicle for theme, that is, the primary topics discussed in a story. Because magic is a form of power, it often explores related themes such as greed, privilege, and oppression. For example, in The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien uses the near omnipotence of the One Ring to explore the dangers of authoritarianism which he fought as a British soldier during World War I. The magic system in my current work in progress, Lady Legacy, serves as an allegory for ambition and the dangerous pursuit of glory, with magic exacting a heavy emotional toll on the user. What themes will your magic system discuss? Don't be intimidated by the often academic bent to the discussion around theme, in essence, theme is nothing more than an answer to the question, what is this story about? There's a good chance that your story already contains themes, regardless of whether you consciously developed them. Of course, I wholeheartedly believe that considering each element of your story is the surest way to craft an engaging novel. If you'd like additional guidance as you build your story's magic system and other facets of your fictional world, then be sure to check out World Building Warrior, a workbook that will walk you through the world building process step by step. You can learn more about the workbook and grab your copy today at well-storied.com warrior. Now here's to creating our magical stories, writers. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Podcast Writer. I hope you found it helpful to your writing journey. If so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode and to give the podcast a quick rating or review. Doing so goes a long way toward helping the podcast reach new writers and lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating. You can also give me a shout out directly on Instagram at Kristen underscore Kiefer. For additional guidance as you work to craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, be sure to head on over to www.well-storied.com, where I share blog posts, workbooks, e-courses, and other helpful resources for writers. Again, that's w-e-l-l-s-t-o-r-i-e-d.com. Thank you again for tuning into today's episode, my friend. 
Until next time, happy writing!